Dom was on his way to work when an old lady drove straight into his cyber truck. A local news reporter found out about the Cybertruck crash and rushed to the scene, no doubt excited to show a wrecked Cybertruck on the front page, but he was in for a shock. While the old lady's Toyota Camry was absolutely obliterated, Dom's Cybertruck was almost completely untouched. The only damage was some scratches on the plastic bumper cover. The journalist even wrote, looks more like a Toyota Camry hit a Sherman tank. He ended his article with, note to self, don't get in an accident with a Cybertruck. Dom confirmed that driving a Cybertruck feels like driving a tank. He's thankful that nobody was injured in the collision. The Camry was totaled by the impact, and Dom is now waiting to find out when he can get his bumper cover replaced at a Tesla service center. This submitter was driving his six-day-old Cybertruck with only 197 miles on the odometer. After realizing he was heading the wrong direction, he stopped to make a three-point turn. Suddenly, a white Range Rover appeared in the rear camera. Our submitter stopped for a red light while the Range Rover continued, plowing straight into the back of the Cybertruck. The driver of the Range Rover confessed she hadn't been paying attention and said she'd somehow missed the shiny steel truck directly in front of her. Thankfully, even this high-class impact didn't damage the Cybertruck too badly. It did leave some surface-level damage to the rear bumper, but our submitter told us he's already put a deposit down for a new rear bumper cover from Unplugged Performance that should arrive next month. Alan is an Uber driver who was using full self-driving on his way to pick up a customer. He told us it had been a pretty chill day when he suddenly noticed a driver ahead of him turn on their hazard lights as people ran into the street. After sounding an alert, FSD slowed to a crawl, so Alan turned on his own hazard lights and took manual control. The minivan in front of him went up onto the sidewalk before taking out a street light. At first, it looked like the woman running after the car might have been locked out of it. Then, Alan realized the driver might be having a medical emergency. When he spotted a police car across the street, he flashed his lights and pointed at the minivan. The cop turned on his emergency lights and quickly reacted. Alan pointed out that medical emergencies behind the wheel are another great reason to have self-driving cars. Here's another edge case from David, who was driving his Model X down a highway in Queensland, Australia. Rain was pouring down, so autopilot automatically disengaged for safety, but that's when David fell asleep behind the wheel. The car veered before hitting the cable guardrail, which pushed the car back onto the road. The impact woke David, who took control of the car right away. Sadly, the car was undrivable after the collision, which completely crushed the front end. Fixing the damage cost $27,000 US dollars and took 13 months after several parts experienced shipping delays. David shared his story as a warning about driving while exhausted. Don't rely on autopilot or FSD if you're too tired to drive because either one might deactivate on particularly rainy days. David's wheels may just be the worst case of curb rash we've ever seen. Speaking of curb rash, there's nothing worse than curb rashing your Tesla wheels. You know the feeling when you hear that horrific sound, then step out to discover this. We ask you to send us photos of your curb rashed Tesla wheels to be entered in our giveaway of a full set of rim case. And these are some of the real photos sent in by fans. Rimcase by Magback is an awesome do-it-yourself product that can protect your Tesla's wheels from damage and, equally important, even hide some existing damage like this. Its modular interlocking design makes it easy to install yourself, and you can even swap out damaged pieces when needed. Plus, it blends seamlessly with your Tesla's Uber Turbine or induction wheels. We put all the entries into this magical tool to select a winner. Let's give it a spin! Congratulations! A set of rim cases on its way. If you already entered but didn't win, don't worry. You're automatically entered into next month's giveaway. We'll be giving away another full set next month, so if you've curb rashed your wheels, confess your crime by filling out the entry form using the link in the description. Thanks to Magback for sponsoring the giveaway, and if you don't want to wait for the next drawing, use this code to get 15% off when you order rim case. 
John had just dropped his Model X off at a Tesla service center to get a Tesla cam fixed, and he was given a Model S as a loaner in the meantime. It wasn't long until a Honda heard the news that a new Tesla was in town. John was stopped at an intersection when a Honda began swerving all over the road behind him before crashing into the loaner Model S. Jumpin'! Honda bombed! The driver of the Honda was very apologetic. Incredibly, a police officer a few vehicles back had also witnessed the collision. Thankfully, neither driver was harmed. The officer wrote a collision report for them before John headed back to the service center to tell Tesla their loaner had been Honda bumped. Corey was on his way to work southbound on I-405 when the driver of a truck ahead of him locked up his brakes before colliding with a car. Corey was using V12.3.4 of the full self-driving beta, which he said tends to leave lots of follow distance. That day, he sure appreciated it. Corey quickly reacted and hit the brakes, but he told us FSD had beat him to it and was already braking. Mason was driving his Model X on a sunny day in Florida, but let's be honest, isn't it always sunny in Florida? Anyway, he was driving behind a pickup pulling a trailer when another driver pulled onto the road. When the pickup driver merged into the passing lane to overtake the car, the driver of the car suddenly merged into the same lane. The pickup driver overcorrected, lost control, and ultimately collided with the car before pushing it into the oncoming lanes. Thankfully, there was no oncoming traffic or things could have been a lot worse. Who do you think was at fault in this collision? The driver of the car definitely shouldn't have merged left and we're pretty sure they ran a stop sign too. Mason wanted to shout out his father, Chad. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man was driving with the FSD beta engaged when he approached an intersection. Just as he came to a stop at a stop sign, two SUVs collided right in front of him. The SUV driver pulling onto the road had stopped at their stop sign, but they had failed to wait until it was safe before proceeding. We noticed both SUV drivers had their headlights off, which might explain how they could have possibly failed to see one another. This submitter was almost home when he allowed a pickup driver to merge in front of him. The pickup driver's wife was driving the Honda right behind him and she didn't want to have another vehicle between them, so she tried to squeeze in too. Sadly, her attempt was unsuccessful. After sideswiping our submitter, she slammed on the brakes, causing him to Tesla tap her. All three drivers stopped. When police responded and viewed the Tesla cam video, they predictably found the Honda driver fully responsible. Part delays caused repairs to take three months to complete, and the final bill, which the Honda driver's insurance provider covered, came to 5,500 US dollars. Our submitter told us he watches every episode of Wham Bam Tesla Cam, Security Cam, and Dash Cam together with his dad, Forrest. Thanks, guys. Ace was driving his Model Y through his neighborhood and was only 30 seconds from home when a neighbor crashed into his quarter panel. At first, he was shocked and wasn't sure what had happened or how this could have happened. When he reviewed his Tesla cam footage, he saw that the other driver approached a yield sign at high speed. Then, rather than yielding, she tried to cross the intersection, hitting his Tesla instead. Both of them stopped. The other driver admitted fault and told Ace that she hadn't seen him, but that her insurance would cover the repairs. At first, her insurance provider only estimated the repair cost at less than $7,000 using photos and videos. But when Ace took his Tesla to a shop, the estimate nearly doubled to $13,000. Alexi was driving with autopilot engaged when his Tesla suddenly hit a slippery spot in the road. As soon as he felt the car lose traction, he took over and began steering to avoid hitting the barrier, but his Tesla still slid into the ditch. Once the car had come to a stop, he assumed the damage would be massive, especially when he noticed a light pole laying in the grass. When he got out to examine his car, he was in for a welcome surprise. The damage was minimal, with only some damage to the front bumper cover and no errors reported by the car. It seems the light pole had been knocked down by someone else. Sadly, his Tesla was still solidly stuck in the mud. The driver of a pickup truck stopped and pulled him out and he was able to continue driving home. He's since made an insurance claim to get his bumper cover repaired. Justin and his family were headed home from church when a Model Y ahead of them was nearly demolished by a red light runner. 
Justin asked his son Chris, I wonder if that's good enough for Wham Bam. Evidently it is. We're just wondering if that was the driver braking or the Tesla's automatic emergency braking activating. Tell us your theory in the comments. One clue could be the fact that the Tesla paused a bit before continuing. That might have been FSD reacting or maybe the driver was just shocked. Sonny had parked his brand new Model Y on a New Jersey street while running a quick errand when a car hauler approached it from behind. Based on what we can see in the repeater camera, it does seem like Sonny might have parked a little far into the road. The trucker slammed on his brakes when he realized he wouldn't be able to squeeze by. When another driver waved at the trucker to continue, he decided to give it a shot, but things didn't go as well as he'd hoped. The trailer sideswiped the Tesla, but the trucker just drove off, making this a hit and run. Sonny didn't notice the damage until he'd gotten to work, but when he did, he reviewed his sentry mode footage and discovered the cause. Sonny made a police report as well as an insurance claim. Rain took to the travel lane to pass slow traffic in the passing lane, including a Corvette. When the Corvette driver realized he was being passed by a Cybertruck, he felt challenged and sped up before flying past it. Sadly for him, there was an unmarked police vehicle waiting up ahead to give him his award for winning this little competition. Now that instant justice was served ice cold. Rain told us that he loves the Cybertruck so far and he and his girlfriend love watching Wham Bam videos every Sunday. Let's take a look at another video he sent us. This time, the driver of an oncoming GMC was so impressed by the Cybertruck, he tried to give Rain a high five. See, not everybody hates the Cybertruck. Rain told us he can't wait to send us more videos. Speaking of Cybertrucks, Scotty had just picked up his and his wife was following in their Model 3 when some crazy lightning lit up the sky. They both hit the record button, but Scotty only sent us the Model 3's footage, which he said was better. Actually, we think Scotty just forgot to plug in a USB drive in his new Cybertruck before taking it home, but regardless, we're so excited for the Cybertruck's emissions. Keep them coming. Watch this video if you want to see more crazy weather captured by Tesla cams. Or watch this video if you want to see the worst nightmare neighbors caught on security cam.